Are you struggling with high level, low level boards within monday.com? Let's look at four use cases so that way you can clearly understand this concept and how it can apply to your business. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. So just to review quickly a high level and low level structure before we jump into a few use cases. What a high level structure is, is when a high level board is when you look at an overview of something, you can look at your company and say, we have this many projects or this many employees or this many websites that we're managing. And you see everything on a high level, what the budget is, what the due dates are, but on a high level, you're not seeing every single task. The low level board is where you see every single task that has to do with that project or that person, whatever it is you have the high level, which shows you an overview of what's going on, and the low level is the nitty gritty and every single task that you need to do. So that being said, let's jump into a few use cases so you can understand and maybe apply these to your company. The first is human resources. Now here you can see, I have a pretty straightforward board for human resources to track potential employees. That's not where the high level, low level structure comes in. Where it comes in is if you have a number of onboarding tasks that someone needs to do when they become a new employee and you want to have a different board for each employee, but you don't want to have to go into every single board. You want to see an overview like, you know, of my five, five employees, what are they up to, you know, in terms of the onboarding process. So what we have here is this human resources board turns into a high level board because we have a link to a low level board. So essentially human resources, high level. And when someone is hired, so let's just say Jesse here is hired. What's going to happen is you can see over here is a low level board is created. So here we have Jesse onboarding. And as soon as we start tracking tasks in here, once we connect it to the high level board, we're going to be able to see what Jesse's status is of his low level tasks. So from the high level board, we'll be able to track all of the people that are onboarding and we can do this with more than one person. So that's why it makes sense to have a high level board and a low level board. The next use case that I want to talk about is website development. Now, if you're managing a company that builds websites, so you can have, let's say project one, project two, as many projects as you want, this would actually be build a website. They all would be build websites. Let's just say that's what you're doing. Okay. So you want to understand where are you up to in terms of each website and how many tasks do you have? So if you look here, I'm actually going to change this instead of being com company event. This can also be website because we're using our example of building a website. So what I have here is I have a high level project board and then I have two low level projects boards and you can see that they're connected by these connected board columns. If you want to learn how to connect those boards, look at the link above and you can follow our video about how to connect boards. Now, if I go to my low level board, so you can see this is for my project one and you can see here's everything that I need to do for the project. Now I do have a progress tracking column here. It doesn't really mean much on this board because it's either hundred percent done or not done at all. But all of a sudden, when I go to my high level board, you can see that this project number one of building a website is 25% of the way completed. While project number two is 38% of the way completed. Again, we have a high level structure of just a list of all of our websites. We have the status, the progress. If you want to pull in due dates, you can, you can pull in budget. You can pull in whatever you want through these mirror columns. This is pretty straightforward just so you understand the concepts. And then the low level is just the specific websites that you're building. And again, you can set those boards up as templates. So that way you have the tasks always created for you, just like we did on the employee onboarding. I'll just show that to you again. Here you can see all of the tasks that are on the onboarding, which are pulled from the onboarding template. 
The next one that I want to show you is a wedding workflow. So again, we have the high level structure of weddings. Okay. The high level is telling us what weddings do we have? What's our date? What's our budget? Really the big picture of when the wedding is now, because budget is usually pretty important for that. So we pulled that data in this column, which I'll show you in a minute. Now we have the lower level boards. The lower level boards are the specific wedding. So here's Hannah and Jared's wedding. And you can see all the tasks that they have here. And here's Michelle and Joe, and you can see all the tasks that they have here. But these boards are linked up to the high level board, to the all weddings board. So what happens if I am the wedding planner here, I can see, look, these are all my weddings that are active. I have a due date, but what we did, which is really interesting is we pulled in the spend from the original, the low level board. So here I can look and be like, okay, for this wedding, their budget is a hundred thousand dollars, but we only spent $6,500. So we really have a lot left in our budget. You know, for this, we're getting a little bit closer for the rehearsal dinner. We're, we're much closer. We don't have that much left in our budget, but again, it's the same concept. High level board is tracking all your weddings, whether you're tracking dates, budget, spend, status, whatever it is. And the low level board are the details of every single thing that you need to accomplish the wedding and to, to do all the tasks. The last. The last use case that I want to talk about is a grant. So if you're a nonprofit and you're managing grants, you probably have a lot of grants and you want to have a high level overview board where you are managing all of these grants. And you can see, I have grant six, grant three, grant five. I have all the dates associated, the decision date, the start dates, the amount requested, everything that's connected to it. Now, as you may or may not know, when you're managing a grant, you need to submit invoices against that grant because someone gave you money and then you'd say like, look, this is what we spent the money on. So this is where the high level, low level structure comes in. The grant overview is the high level board that manages on a big picture, all of your grants. And on the low level here, we have grant one. And here you would just submit what you need, what you spent for that grant. And it's connected Obviously not everything connected here, but it's connected to the high level. Again, same with grant number two. It's connected to the high level board. So that way all the information from the low level board is pulled up to the high level board. So you can see that data and you can see it on an overview of the grants. So here, I'm just going to wait for this to load. You can see we have total spent to date. So if you look at these columns, like in grant number one and grant number two, where we pulled items, you can see this is how much they spent to date. And this is how much is left in the grants. I just want to reiterate, it's the same concept for all of these boards. A high level board shows you the high level overview picture of your projects, your weddings, your events. It doesn't really matter what you're tracking, but it's the overview where things are holding date, budget. And if you want to pull in other information, you can, the low level boards are the actual tasks that you're doing, and then you can connect them. So that way certain people can view everything on a overall high level board. Like let's say the management team wants to look on a high level board, but people doing the tasks may want to look on a low level board. The high level boards are also great for dashboards. So if you come here in our grants overview, you can see a dashboard of all of the information that's pulled in from all of the grants. So here it's, it's the finances that are pulled in grants by type, but again, a dashboard can apply to anything within this concept. You can pull a dashboard from your high level boards, and you can also pull a dashboard from your lower, le lower level boards. But this way it gives everyone on your team insight to what information you need to see on a high level and a low level. If you're still confused with this concept, check out the link below to a course that we recently launched about everything you need to know for high level, low level boards. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.